Welcome to part one of the programming series for Crestron Fusion. This is the first video in a series of four designed to provide programmers the tools needed to integrate various hardware components into Crestron Fusion. Part one will cover the correct implementation of the SSI modules within simple windows. This will provide the initial programming required to provide all custom programs with standard functionality for consistent quality deployment. The Crestron Fusion team has provided a document that provides step-by-step -step directions to correctly program the SSI modules. The document can be found here. While this covers most of the SSI module implementation, there are a few items we'd like to clarify. First, we'd like to show the process for importing the device logic from the main SSI module to the room device properly. The first step is to add the Fusion Room device to the Ethernet slot of the processor. We'll switch back to the programming mode and bring the main SSI module located in the Fusion folder in the Crestron Modules folder into the Fusion subfolder. Also note that the Fusion Room device is also visible. All the necessary interconnecting logic will be populated automatically by following this simple process. Right-click and hold on the main Fusion SSI module and drag up to the Fusion Room device. Release the right-click and select Import Device Logic. It will prompt for a default signal prefix for all the signals. We recommend something simpler than the default to keep the signal names easily readable. Once you've entered your desired prefix, click OK. You will notice that there are additional slots in the Fusion Room device. Quickly verify the signal names have been populated as expected. We would like to point out a few updated instructions for properly populating the main SSI module. The update system info should be triggered by the program start feedback on the system control subslot of the main system monitor slot in the processor. The time sync parameter should be changed to yes, and the sync time input should be triggered generally at 2 or 3 a.m. The Crestron Fusion SSI ID parameter must be a non-zero number. If multiple Crestron Fusion rooms are in one program slot, this value must be different on the various main SSI modules. If the Crestron Fusion SSI scheduling awareness module is being utilized, the scheduling ID parameter must match the scheduler ID parameter of that module. This is an internal crosspoint connection. Lastly, the Crestron Fusion SSI display usage and Crestron Fusion SSI device usage modules have an updated digital input signal at the top of their modules. While they are named slightly different, they are the same and should be implemented. These inputs reset the internal counters in the module to correct logging for the device that are on or in past midnight. This has been part one of the programming series for Crestron Fusion. Thank you.